Hello, folks. Welcome to the Pack Recap. Today we highlight Hall of Fame offensive tackle, Forrest Gregg. Forrest Gregg was an American professional football player and coach. A Pro Football Hall of Fame offensive tackle for 16 seasons in the National Football League. He was a part of six NFL championships, five of them with the Green Bay Packers, before closing out his career with the Dallas Cowboys with a win in Super Bowl VI. Greg was later the head coach of three NFL teams, the Cleveland Browns, the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Green Bay Packers, as well as two Canadian Football League teams. He was also a college football coach for the SMU Mustangs. As a head coach, he led the 1981 Bengals to the Super Bowl, where they lost to the San Francisco 49ers, 26 to 21. Born on October 18, 1933 in Birthright, Texas, Greg attended Sulphur Springs High School in Sulphur Springs and played college football at Southern Methodist University in Dallas. Playing on both the offensive and defensive line at SMU, Greg earned all Southwest Conference honors in his final two seasons. Greg was a key player in the Packers dynasty of head coach Vince Lombardi that won five NFL championships in the first two Super Bowls. He played mostly at right tackle, but also filled in at guard. He earned an Ironman take by playing in a then league record 188 consecutive games in 16 seasons from 1956 until 1971. He also won all NFL honors for eight straight years from 1960 through 1967 and nine Pro Bowl selections. Greg closed his career with the Dallas Cowboys, as did his Packer teammate, cornerback Herb Adderley. They both helped the Cowboys win Super Bowl VI in January 1972, making them the only players, along with former teammate Fuzzy Thurston, who was on the Baltimore Colts NFL Championship team in 1958, and Tom Brady of the New England Patriots and Tampa Bay Buccaneers in professional football history to play on six NFL title teams. Greg wore the number 75 for 15 seasons in Green Bay, but that number belonged to Jethro Pugh in Dallas, so Greg wore number 79 for his final season in 1971. It has been reported that Vince Lombardi said, Forrest Gregg is the finest player I ever coached. But official Packers team historian Cliff Crystal can find no evidence of Lombardi ever saying or writing that. In 1999, he was ranked 28th on the Sporting News list of the 100 greatest football players, putting him second behind Ray Nitschke among players coached by Lombardi, second behind Anthony Munoz, whom he coached, among offensive tackles, and fourth behind Munoz, John Hanna, and Jim Parker, among all offensive linemen. After serving as an assistant with the San Diego Chargers in 1973, he took a similar position the following year with the Browns. After head coach Nick Skorich was dismissed after the 1974 season, Greg was promoted to head coach in 1975 position he held through 1977. After sitting out the 1978 season, Greg returned to coaching in 1979 with the Canadian Football League's Toronto Argonauts. In 1980, he became the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals for four seasons through 1983. His most successful season as a head coach was in 1981, when he led the Bengals to a 12-4 regular season record. They defeated the San Diego Chargers 27-7 in the AFC Championship game, known as the Freezer Bowl, earning them a trip to Super Bowl 16, where they lost to the San Francisco 49ers, 26-21. When his longtime former teammate Bart Starr was fired after nine years as head coach of the Packers in December 1983, Greg was allowed out of his Bengals contract to take over in Green Bay. He finished his NFL coaching career with the Packers, leading them for four seasons, 1984 through 1987, with a record of 25, 37, and 1. Greg's overall record as an NFL coach was 75 wins, 85 losses, and one tie. He was also 2-2 two two in playoff games, all with the Bengals. He is one of only two coaches, the other being Marvin Lewis, to have left the Bengals with a winning record. Greg resigned from the Packers in January 1988 and took a pay cut to take over at SMU, his alma mater. He was brought in to revive the Mustang football program after it received the death penalty from the NCAA for massive violations of NCAA rules. Though the NCAA had only canceled the 1987 season, 
School officials later opted to cancel the 1988 season due to fears that fielding a competitive team would be impossible. Nearly every letterman from the 1986 squad had transferred elsewhere. Greg knew that any new coach would be essentially rebuilding the program from scratch, but when acting President William Stalkup asked him to return, he felt he could not refuse. As it turned out, when Greg arrived, he was presented with a severely undersized and underweight roster, composed mostly of freshmen. Greg was taller and heavier than nearly the entire 70-man squad. The team was so short on offensive linemen that Greg had to make several wide receivers bulk up and switch to the line. By nearly all accounts, it would have been unthinkable for the Mustangs to return for the 1988 season under such conditions. In 1989, the Mustangs went 2-9, and nine, including a 95-21 thrashing by Houston, the second worst loss in school history. In that game, eventual Heisman Trophy winner Andre Ware threw six touchdown passes in the first half, and David Klingler added four more in the second, even with the game long out of reach. Greg was so disgusted that he refused to shake Houston coach Jack Pardee's hand after the game. Nonetheless, Greg reflected fondly on the experience. In a 2012 interview with the New York Times, he said the players on the two teams he coached should have had their numbers retired for restoring dignity to the program. I never coached a group of kids that had more courage, he said. They thought that they could play with anyone. They were quality people. It was one of the most pleasurable experiences in my football life, period. After the season, Greg was named SMU's athletic director. The Mustangs went 1-10 in 1990, and after the season, he resigned as coach to focus on his duties as athletic director. Greg's coaching record at SMU was 3-19, and, and he served as athletic director until 1994. He returned to the Canadian Football League with the Shreveport Pirates in 1994, during that league's brief attempt at expansion to the United States. His overall record in the CFL was 13-39. When former Shreveport Pirates owner Bernard Weberman bought a stake in the Ottawa Renegades in May 2005, Greg was appointed Ottawa's Vice President of Football Operations, a position he held through 2006. Greg married his wife Barbara in 1960. In the 1970s, he had multiple surgeries for skin cancer. He retired to Colorado Springs, Colorado. In October 2011, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease thought to be caused by concussions from playing over two decades of high school, college, and professional football. On October 12, 2019, Greg died at the age of 85 due to complications from Parkinson's disease. In addition to his wife, he was survived by a son, Forrest Jr., a daughter, Karen, and several siblings. The information brought to you in this video has been provided by Wikipedia. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the entertainment log.